And in him now, in the cross, all the attributes, all the glories of God are there, are there. That's why the cross was everything for Paul. Everything. Everything. The cross, the cross, the cross, the cross. The Son of God is the last Adam, bone of our bone and flesh of our flesh, our champion. We had two great problems, mankind. We are devoid of righteousness. We have none. And we were under penalty of the covenant of works because of our disobedience. Christ solved both of those problems. He dealt with the penalty in that he died under it. But, oh, and don't miss this part. He dealt with our poverty, our destitution of righteousness in that he not only died for us, he lived for us. He obeyed for us. And then he's far greater than Joseph. Joseph did not share his coat of many colors with his brethren. But praise God, Christ shared his coat of righteousness with his people, even the most destitute. He has done it all. Brother Paul, do you believe we're saved by works? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I do. The works of Christ. God making covenant with God. Our brother. Our brother. Oh, the majesty of that one. Oh, take the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Remember, young people, only one hero in this story. Run to him. You say, I, I have no strength. Take hold of him. My grip is slight. Then fall upon him. You can fall, can't you? Just give up. Fall. 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 And he will catch you. Fall upon him. He is a rock bigger than the world. Fall upon him. Trust in him. Trust his word. Don't wait to get yourself right. Don't wait to get yourself clean. Just fall. Fall. Believing that for God so loved the world, he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life.